number 324. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. had to become like his brothers that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest. The Lord's revelation to my master sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes, a prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountain. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Master, standing at your right hand, will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He, the judge of the nations, will heap high the bodies, and shall be shattered far and wide. 
He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ had to become like his brothers, that he might be a merciful and faithful high This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious his work, his justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders, the Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure. Standing firm forever and ever, they are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy is name to be feared. To fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Alleluia. Behold my servant whom I have chosen. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill 
before all his people in the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Behold my servant, whom I have chosen. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord to receive the scroll and break open its seal. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. From St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. You are the temple of the living God, just as God has said, I will dwell with them and walk among men. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Since we have these promises, beloved, let us purify ourselves from every defilement of flesh and spirit and in the fear of God, strive to fulfill our consecration perfectly. Six. Yeah. 
spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. O Tuam Gloriosum of the apostles. Keep their teaching secure among your faithful people. You made the martyrs powerful witnesses even to the point of giving up their lives. Help all Christians to give faithful witness to your Son. You gave holy virgins the gift of imitating the virginity of Christ. May those consecrated to virginity be steadfast witnesses to the coming of your kingdom. Your saints now see you face to face. Keep alive in our hearts the hope of coming at last into your presence. Kyrie eleison. Pray for Father Nathan as he travels. Thanksgiving for uh, Father Benedict's uh, passage here with us and all of his guidance. The Lord be with him and be with all our brothers in Princeville. Lord Rosemary and Steve and Mary and Kim James. Oh, Lord, we bring Patrick. Mark and Mark and Luke and Calvin. Lord Tyreke and Lily and Tracy. Lord Tom and Lord Sean. For Seton Hall students. We pray for Linda and Grace, especially for Father. Lead us to 
Bring all who have died into the company of heaven with Mary, Joseph, and all your saints, and give us also a place in the unending fellowship of your kingdom. Kyrie eleison. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of November the 2nd. Commemoration of all the faithful departed the day when the church intercedes for her members who sleep in death and who are suffering a last purification before entering into glory. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.